Wow, that's not the right size. There you go. Perfection. Yo, I can, I've been playing a lot of matches. As you can clearly see, because I am now a Vanquisher. But I should be playing more. I'm just lazy. Why don't I just try and break down my gameplay as a way to help other gen players? You know, just show off why am I doing this thing and why, why I'm not doing this or something like that. I don't know. Let's go here. Let's go to Steve. Because, I don't know, feel like it. Round okay, one. here you go. Round one. Round start. I usually think they do back one like he's doing right now. I do down four because it high crushes. Uh, high, uh, high crushes, just in general, and back one is a high, so it's gonna completely avoid it, while also dishing out damage. And in this game, the damage for it is kind of nice. Like, I swear in other games it did basically nothing, but now it does a pretty sizable chunk for a low, Not like that. A really good low, and you're gonna see me use it quite a lot in this matchup because of that back one. Uh, if I do down back four, I get counter hit. If I do uh, hell sweep, I get counter hit. So I just try to do down 4 because it's quick. Down 2 is slower and you'll see me use that as well, but down 4 is just to interrupt and just gauge the situation. The round start, down 4. And you see there's a bit of movement. I did back to 1 there just to get in. I was hoping he would do something there, trying to time that, but I didn't get anything. Back to 1 is low risk, it's minus 9 on block, I think. It's around minus 8, minus 9 on block. Uh, so, you know, might as well go for it. It also has insane range, as you saw. Uh, back to one isn't too easy to sidestep, it's also heavily delayable. And, uh, if it hit there, I would have been plus one. So I would have had a really good situation to maybe magic four, maybe start a down back four if he's not pressing. I could just start my offense off of that, that's why I use that. So, uh, since it's minus nine, I had block. And I block there, I block jabs, the one, two. Now I am about I'm plus one, I think. But I move away because uh, my entry failed. I didn't hit him and I wanted to restart. So I'm getting back in. There you go. The jab into down four, you're gonna see that a lot as well. But jab into down four is nice because jab is plus one and down four is a really quick low. So we'll just avoid highs. And if he tries to retaliate with a jab again, we'll just avoid. Up back to it. It does up plus two. There's my down two. Really good range. Make sure to do that. That's a really good combo for this stage, but I didn't hit the wall. I should have docked that, but I didn't. I'm trust two again. One two jab. That's the thing. Always get some type of punish in. If you don't get any punish, they're gonna feel like doing it again and again and again and again. But if you punish it, like, in some way, it's gonna build up, and they're going to eventually die just off of punishes. So, okay. After that, I did 1-2. I did down 4-2 into the step. I can't remember what they call it. You just hold down 4, then it goes to this step. Uh, in that situation, off of the 1-2, you're like plus, plus 6, I think. So, down forward 2 would have interrupted anything that they would have done. So not a bad idea, but in that situation, maybe go for a down 2, a down back 4, maybe if you feel like it, forward 4, because that's 16 frames. So they can't really interrupt that either. We'll trade off of jabs and you're gonna launch. You're pretty much in a really good situation off of that 1-2 alone. So in that situation, you could do whatever the heck you wanted. I did down forward 2, uh, because I was looking for this. Uh, I just used that to check what he would do, because it high crushes, uh, it kind of high crushes. It doesn't properly high crush, because I've used it on Reyna, and her one jab for some reason is like the only one that hits that. Uh, so yeah. I got that. Show in the combo. That was just, I don't know, random, don't pick that up. And in back, there you go. Back dash and the back to one. View, beautiful, bleh. Very good round there. What is that? I noticed he did back one at the start from the first round. So I did back one plus two. And I got a parry. A Sabaki parry. And I got four plus two, because that's follow up. That's a good block from the Steve. Moving again. That one. I don't know, I just crouched like this. 
That stuff. If you didn't know, that Steve clinch is a mix up. You press one or two. I guess wrong for every single clinch, so. <laughs> this is a good go. One four. Remember to use that move because of that guarantee you can't counter hit. There's a jab again. Always use that jab. I always use the jab to stop offense. So the jab is the move to use to stop offense or a dip jab, you know, down one. Just get something in there to stop them from doing their offense. And plus, the uh, jab is really plus. <laughs> you can do whatever you want from that as well. <clears throat> That's a guard break. I hit it wrong. That was supposed to be something else, not the armor. I could have killed there, I think. Yeah, I could have killed there properly as well, but I could have, it's good enough. You see me moving away from the wall because, you know, I don't want to be stuck on that wall. There's that situation there. Hold on. So the down two whiffed, which is really bad. He should have punished me one plus two with that, but he didn't. So I just kept going. I ducked his back one two. I guess he did try to punish me, but down two recovers crouching. So I got up one two, down two, and two full crouch down four four. At way better ranks, they're probably going to block that because you can definitely react to that <laughs> that whole sequence there. But in this situation, he got pressured. So it's a bit hard for him to read it. 4 2, two and then I get hit by his heat smash, because you know, I suck. There's, there's the side step again. 4, bro, okay. <clears throat> Running 2, very sidesteppable. So I got up, and I just sidestep. You're probably gonna avoid, like, Albatross 2, uh... <clears throat> oh, I can't remember what it's called anymore. Uh, close circle forward one. You can kind of avoid that as well. Um, if you did down forward two, I think I would avoid it as well. Because it's not a homing move anymore. Always try to sidestep. Maybe not on uh, wake ups like that. But I had the distance there. As you can see... Hold on, let me just get hit away again. Get hit by a heat smash. And I'm a fair distance away. I'm that distance away. I have enough time to get up, up and sidestep. Look at that. I'm already sidestepping. And I avoided his running too, which he kept spamming. And I get some type of punish off of that. Not the best combo, but I mean, it was off axis. Punish that. Grab. Yep. I've used that so many times in these ranks, they do not react to that grab. It's Zen 2 plus 3 if you need to know. We'll go on to the next match and see what else I can like, commentate there. This is the first time I'm doing this, so this is gonna probably suck as a person, as a video. But hey, I'm I'm trying to provide my knowledge on how I play Jin, specifically against Steve for this one. Round one. Well, let's see. Well, he starts again with a high. I did down 4, knowing that he would do a high. Of course, if he did something else, like down forward 1, I would be caught, and I would be mine. So, this is the whole situation with the start of the round. This could be a separate video in itself, but at the start of the round, uh, you can do whatever you want. You can backdash away, you can sidestep, or you can attack. Uh, literally, rock, paper, scissors. So, I could have died there if he had done something different but I chose correctly. And that round start can de determine like the entire round. So make sure you pay attention to how you start. Here's down forward two. Down four again. Two one four because he likes pressing. There's the electric. That's my keep out, as it should be for everyone else. I missed the combo because I am bad. I'm adding a little bit of sidestepping and then I just got hit by that. I missed this one, like I said before. I just guessed wrong twice, man, it sucks. And I did the same thing again, because he reacts to the down forward 2 to punish or to do something, and I go right under it. In 
in the lower ranks, mid ranks, spam that. Well, don't spam it, but throw it out every now and then, you'll get a free combo. Just keep that in mind. So then I get my free combo, really good combo. Go into the heat, the dash, then kill, and then back to one. Again, back to one is a really good round ender. Do not forget to use that. Super good round ender. Down four again. He didn't do anything this time, but I got that damage, and I'm ahead. Down four again. One, two, three. I tried down two, but he caught me. Starting to do down two, one, which he should be doing, but he doesn't do it that often for some reason. There's back one. Down back four into down four. You can see I know his legs are completely open. And then there's the back one. What? What did I get hit by? Oh, what did I try? I did a jam. I mistimed it, and I pretty much got destroyed for it. But as you saw before, I was just hitting his legs because he's doing nothing to defend me. But of course I do die from it. <laughs> Look at this, man. That one. Let's get a war combo, kind of. I tried to buck that, but little flashed up. And I guessed wrong. He gets two. And I, I lost the round for it. <clears throat> Off of that one back one. That's why I'm trying to do down fours. I'm probably going to down four again. No, I down two. There's a down two. That's just a disrespect. I missed the combo again. Now I'm just spamming back three. Oh, back three two. Back three two, completely safe. It is easy-ish to sidestep, but... It's a good move because if you counter hit the first back three, then you get two. So throw that out every now and then. There's that. That was a de another defensive option. Really good panic pool. It's Zen up one. Uh, no one's gonna punish that right now, unless you're in the high ranks, because uh, it's like minus 19 or something. It's, it's launch punish. Well, that's all you need to know. It's really really good because it crushes everything i don't know why he has it but he does and i don't care because he's my character anyways i get a combo I get the down four. i don't think downfall is guaranteed there but you know oh it might be it is down two there i could have gone for something safer than down two but you know is down two round start because he's literally doing nothing to combat <laughs> to combat my lows. And I'm just using this because he's using highs now. And I've got literally nothing to lose. And I'm going in. This situation. I like this situation. More combo. What do you do here? You know, you got everything. You can do uh I mean if you want to back three two. You can 1 plus 2 if you think they're going to crouch, but it's unsafe, so down forward 1, 4 is better, but then they can duck that. You have so many different situations off of this. Uh, down forward 1 just by itself. This situation is really good because of that flip. He ticks, I go into Zen, and for some reason, uh, Zen 1 plus 2 just completely tracks off of that situation. It's kind of like uh, Brian's Torn. So, as you see here, it just completely tracks in that direction. Oh, and I get him. So, really good load to throw out at the wall. It is somewhat punishable, uh, but I'd say it's worth it at the wall. Obviously, we could, well, you don't see it, but they bounce off the wall and you get a billion, like, plus frames. Whatever the heck you want. They won't be able to do rage art. They won't be able to throw out their quick jabs, they'll get counter hit, they will just die. You, I usually do a grab setup after that. And there you go. That's the whole match there, I guess. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll cut it off here, who knows. Now, if uh, I decide to go even more, I will probably not edit this part out and I'll keep going. So, another match that I want to look at. Okay, okay. So. Do I look at the Reyna? Or the Brian? I'll look at the Reyna. Because this one is probably very much needed right now. Because Reyna is running around everywhere and ranked. I see her everywhere. Either her or Victor. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't see a single gen. I've seen like one or two, but not too many. But Reyna, you're going to see a lot. So I'm going to look at this one. How do I start the round? 
I have something. Ah, a little note. You're not gonna see it because it's a replay. It was slightly laggy, <laughs> so my inputs were a little weird. But you know, excuses. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, that was a one. one, one, two, and to the low. I don't know the frames on that. I don't even know the input on that. But, you know, it's probably docket. It's a low high. Uh, you get a launch. Four, four, two, three. Oh, four, four, two, Sentai three. I think that's all it is. Uh, that's like plus two. It's a plus two high. You have to dock that. And they're going to spam the heck out of that move in these ranks. Uh, it is also like if 442 hits, the kick is guaranteed, so of course they're gonna throw it out. Uh, for some reason, every single rain that does this, I guess, we this. 442, 3, and so 112. I don't, like, I mean, I know why, but you have plus 2, don't you? You do, a, do a bit more than that. Okay, back to me. I 214 here, knowing that it was gonna counter hit. Why? Because they keep doing 1-1. One, one. And the counter hits, I get a free down 2. Now I'm back 4. I try to push my advantage, but I get the wrong move. That one... That low is not plus for her. <clears throat> At least from my knowledge. That low is not plus. So if I did a jab, I probably would have beat that. This is plus though. And I, I pressed. <laughs> I don't know why, but I pressed. Lost that 3. This one was just me trying to understand who I'm fighting. But yeah. Down one. I think that was CD1. There you go. There's the launch. And that's what I was talking about. It's a low high. Duck the low. Crouch the high. You get a full punish. I tried to adjust, but I got nothing. Just trying to push my advantage, but the, yeah, that was a little simple. I don't know what that was supposed to be. It was something. It's gonna 1 1 again? No. But you don't place. There's the high. I actually tried to punish that. But I was too I was too quick. Look, while standing two, I was too quick. I was too eager to punish that. So yeah. Timing was weird here. Two one. And now they're respecting my two one four. So I did down two. While standing one two. There's two one again. Four plus six. So I did down two. Down two again. Because before I did down two, they did nothing. So I, I feel like I can do it again. 4-4-2 four, four, to try and mix it. I didn't get mixed. And then I down two again. Why? Because they're not blocking low. If they're not blocking low, exploit it. I take completely take over that. So I get my combo. I missed my combo. There it is, and I missed my punish because I kept holding down like an idiot. Okay, this mix, you can actually react to this. The 3 is quick enough, and this is slow enough for you to flash duck. You can duck, and then get back up, and you can just block now. I've done it before, but not in this match, apparently. And I get away because I want to take away the pressure. Let me see it. <clears throat> and I set up my situation again. Tried to do an electric, because they interrupted before, but they ducked. 1, 2, 3, down 2. Not the best idea, because 1, 2, 3 is minus 4 now. It used to be 0, and then before that it used to be plus 2. Uh, but, you know, things change. And down 2 was there, because I felt like they were going to do nothing. Anyways, magic 4, missed. Yeah, I think about this move. I think this is CD1... 1-4. One, one, CD1, by itself, launch punishable. CD1-4 is a high. But I, I tried to press. I should have ducked. Here's the plus situation again. That was supposed to be my worth punish or not. This situation that I was thinking about before. Uh, you'll see she'll bounce off the wall. And I am super plus. I can do whatever I want. Down forward 1-4. Maybe a high. I can do an electric. I can do down 2. A hell sweep. I can do whatever I want. I usually just do a grab in these situations. Because... You know, it's a bit scary to duck here, especially in this game where you can bound at the wall. Or oh, my bad, tornado at the wall. I got the grab. This is a two break, by the way, if you wanted to know. Forward four. Yeah, forward four sometimes misses here, or all the time it misses. You kind of have to dash in. Uh, I tried to get a little bit of cheese. Forward four is in two plus three, which was the grab before, and I missed. 
Her situation, I could have launched there, but I expected the high, which is why I jacked. 1, 2, 3, down 2, 4, 4, 2 into 1 plus 2. Why I did that is because some situations 4, 4, 2 on block gives you a good amount of space. Don't do what I did. This is just me based off of experience. 4, 4, 2 is minus enough for you to be completely interrupted by a lot of stuff. So don't do that. 1 plus 2 is also unsafe. So I've got plans for it. There's a plus. This person really likes pushing plus into 1 1. I should be ducking, but I'm not because it's not really worth it. Or uh, they're not doing lows, so it would be worth it. But it's just I don't need to. And 2 1 4. I did this without a delay because they've been just trying to press the whole time. So I did 2 1 4 knowing that it was going to count hit. And I got the count hit. 1 2. 1 2 again to get that extra bit of damage before getting out, and then heat so then I can block the momentum, and now I control the game. Now they're scared to do anything off of that high kick, because I don't do anything. But they should be doing something, since I'm doing nothing. Anyways, heat smash, and the next and I do use end 1. As end 1? CD 1. They should have punished, they didn't. And now again, it's still in my control. I can do whatever I want, so I do down two instead of down four. Full crouch, down four. How do I start? Down two again. They're just not blocking, and they're doing a lot of highs. They did one one. So I get a free counter hit, and then I mess up the combo. <laughs> I tried that. Uh, this is what I was talking about. Down four two CD uh, cancel, the crouch cancel, into CD uh, one. As you saw there, her jab for some reason is the only one that can hit it. I think it's because they're late. Yeah, it is because they're late. Okay, okay. I've got my answer. It's because they're jabbing late. That's why I'm getting hit. And as you can see again, I noticed that they were trying to press for some reason. Constantly trying to take their turn. But then I do 1, 2, 3 instead. But it's got a bit of a delay. And go 3 down 2. Down 2 in the wall saying 4 4. They should be ducking that at the end, but they don't. No one ducks it at this rank. So it's worth it. Now I'm in. Now I'm controlling the game again. Oh yeah. I noticed that they were doing mix ups the whole time. Well, not really mix ups. They were doing a high and a mid. You could call it a mix. But I, I remembered. Jin has a parry. So I was just like, I can just avoid the whole situation. So I parried it. I can launch here, but I didn't launch, I did 2-4. Down 2 again. Down 2 again. That one should have been a block. I think they do it again at some point. No, they don't. They just die. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so... In these ranks, they don't block low. They don't break grabs. Uh, and you can throw out a lot of stuff that has slight delays and has counter hit rewards. Because, why not? They're just gonna press into it anyways. Uh, okay, so there's a second one. A second match. I actually You're forgot there was a second match. Battle. I thought that was it. Uh, second match. Let's see how I do in this one. So I'm going into this knowing that they like that high kick and they like that mid mid. They haven't done the low version at all in a while. Which is very interesting. I tried to punish the back one too. There it is again! 2-1-4! Because they like uh, coming back with 1-1. One, one. So 2-1-4. And then down 2. 3 damage against this bird. And I start uh, seeing what strings they have. They don't know. I missed my parry. <laughs> I guess that's guaranteed. I'm actually not sure. It's 4, as you saw there. He's not plus. I can just throw whatever the heck I want. So I got that. I got 4. Her jab traded with my 4. That's... <laughs> That goes to show how minus that move is. So I get a free 1 plus 2. I get up forward 1 plus 2. Uh, again, grab situations are really good. Out of heat, uh, heat engages, or off of all stuns, or crumples, whatever you call it. So now I'm in this situation. I get the... There it is again. I have to go back around. I should have just went back. Hold on. So we're in this situation. I got punished. I should be under pressure here. I should be scared. I should be like panicking here. 
But I know they like to do this stuff. So I just parry it. And I get 2-4. This <laughs> I get 2-4. I go on the Zen, and now it's my turn. It's my mix. You have to take my mix. So I just grab them. Keep in mind, from Zen, there's only one grab. So if they grab from Zen, it's a two break all the time. Start down two. You've seen me do that a lot now. I go into full crouch, down forward four. It gets blocked, but they don't launch me for it. So I know, if I wanted to, I can just spam lows. I'm not going to get punched out for it. I did this because I felt like they were going to press, which they did. <laughs> so, I got a few damage. And I get the wall. That's probably his best wall carry. Is that? They punish it with that. But now I know every time they punish it with. What was it? Oh, 71. Every time they punish with this, they will always go into this. So, I had seen it three times now. This being the third, I think. I blocked, and I punished. And again, grab mix up. I like this grab. It, it looks really cool. I've liked it since Tekken 6, so yeah. Anyways, grab. I tried dashing in the down 2. They're punishing the 4-4 now. Now they're going into their weird step. Why? I don't know. Because I don't have to push you. You have to push me. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in a range that's just out of range, but also close to my range. Again, they side they block out speed while sitting one while sitting one, I think it is. Of course I did do something here on the ground, but you know, it happened. Doing this again. And for some reason they just really like that mid, so I just did down two, because it covers a lot of space. One two jab, again try to get whatever jab you can, and now I'm doing down back four. Just to get some something else. Down back four. Jab, then to five skip can can. Very weird stuff. This is a custom combo. I mean, if you wanted, if you wanted to use it, you can see this combo again. There you go. And now is the mix. You know how Zen uh, has the tracking low off of the wall. I did Zen one two instead. Because, well, then 1 2 is a mid. It's mid mid, I think. Uh, it is unsafe, but Zen 1 2 can be cancelled. So, it's another mix if it gets blocked. But obviously, I got it and they died for it. And there you go. That was Reyna. And I got my Vanquisher rank from that. Uh, that was me trying to explain it. If you liked the idea of this video and have any, like, comments on what I should be doing differently for these videos, let, let me know in the comments. Ah, uh, yeah. That's, that's it for me. I like the video. You know, I get, to, I get to teach. I get to talk about what I've been doing. It also helps me understand, like, better what I've been doing. So, it helps you, and it helps me. Alright, take care.